The displayed SIL introduces EEI for Forge and Honeywell Forge to all AS907 and TFE731 customers who would like to upgrade from the legacy EEI software. You will find step one, how to order a hardware kit. If necessary, download and install EEI for Forge and register for Honeywell Forge. As displayed in the table, EEI for Forge is compatible with the new Dash 5 download kit, which replaces the obsoleted Edge port with the newly released DigiEdge port. You will also notice that it is not compatible with the Dash 2 download kit, which includes the obsoleted PCM CIA card. EEI for Forge is also fully Windows 10 or Windows 11 compatible, unlike the legacy EEI software, which is restricted from performing TLD determination on Windows 10. The engine data flow path has changed slightly with EEI for Forge and Honeywell Forge from the legacy EEI. With the legacy EEI software, engine downloads, data review, and TLD determination are done on the EEI software. If file sharing is required, the engine files would need to be emailed to camp for trending or other personnel that require access. With EEI for Forge software, engine downloads are done on EEI for Forge and the engine file is uploaded to Honeywell Forge for review and TLD determination. Honeywell Forge automatically transfers engine files to CAMP and instantly makes the file viewable to other authorized personnel. EEI for Forge is the new electronic engine interface that has been designed to interface with the Honeywell Forge platform. Unlike the legacy EEI software, TLD determination is not completed on the EEI for Forge software. Instead, the TLD determination has been migrated to Honeywell Forge. Honeywell Forge is a connectivity solution that uses a comprehensive portfolio of flight database services on a single seamless web-based platform. To register an aircraft in Honeywell Forge, the aircraft administrator will need to visit the Honeywell My Aerospace Engine and APU Software Downloads page. The aircraft administrator, such as a director of maintenance, owner or lead technician, should then select the Aircraft Registration button near the top of the page. Proceed to fill out the form with the correct administrator contact information and aircraft details, as this will be used by Honeywell to request approval for future accounts linked to the registering aircraft. After an aircraft has been successfully registered into Honeywell Forge, additional user accounts can be linked to the registered aircraft by selecting the Create Users Account button near the top of the page and submitting the form for the aircraft administrator to approve. The Honeywell Electronic Engine Interface for Forge or EEI for Forge is software that interfaces with the engine control units or ECUs. The EEI for Forge software is used to download engine condition and fault recording data from the ECUs directly to the PC. In this video, we will show you how to download and install EEI for Forge onto your PC. You will need a Windows 10 or Windows 11 laptop with an internet connection to download the software. To download the EEI for Forge software, please visit the Honeywell My Aerospace Engine and APU software download page. Scrolling down the list of documents, locate the latest release for EEI for Forge and select the download icon on the right side of the table. This will initiate the download of an EEI for Forge zip folder. Save it to your desktop for the installation covered in the next step. To install EEI for Forge, unzip or extract the EEI for Forge zip folder that you previously downloaded to your desktop.
open the extracted folder and navigate into the executable folder. Select the setup file, which will open an install wizard for EEI for Forge. Follow the prompts in the install window, as shown to complete install of EEI for Forge. We recommend you keep the default settings. An EEI for Forge icon will be placed on your desktop once the installation has been completed. If you navigate back to the top folder, you will also find folders for the Digi Edge Port drivers, software release notes, and EEI for Forge User's Guide. We're covering the installation setup of the Digi Edge Port device. It's needed to download the Honeywell HTF 7000 series engines. Here we have a view of the box and associated cables that are needed to perform this task. One important note is that the USB port on the laptop that has to be used may need the setup done on each individual port and should be checked using the same procedures. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have the Digi drivers and you can go to www.digi.com and pull up the edge port device under support and you can download the drivers here. If you need to download the drivers on another computer and just copy and bring them over to this computer, that'll work just fine. Whatever way you need to to get these drivers loaded on this laptop. Once you have them loaded on the laptop, save them in a common area like this desktop icon and you'll double click on them. Then the Edgeport Drivers window will open. You click Setup and then a DOS type screen will open, showing the drivers being loaded and installed. This should do this automatically, and then once it's completed, the screen should go away on its own. If you have difficulties with this, you can reload it a second time to make sure they get in correctly. Once the drivers are loaded, go to your Start menu and you can scroll down. Here you'll see the Digi USB selection, and then the Edgeport Configuration Utility Program. You need to click on that, open it, and then you have the Edgeport Property screen open up. Here you can verify that you have four comms hooked up. In this case we do, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we'll go straight into the setup. The first screen you want to do is configure. And here you see the four ports and the comm ports. Then you'll need to make sure that these are in sequence. In this one, they are 8, 9, 10, 11. It could be 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever happens to be on your computer. You select OK. Then you have the port flags. Here, we need to have RS422, no terminating resistor. If for some reason you have one of these others selected, you need to change all four of these and make sure this is correct. Once you have them all changed, you click Update, and then you move on to the next step. The next step is Advanced. You click on the Advanced tab, and then you'll get this checkbox where you'll want to do the bottom two. MS High Speed Hub Fix, Disable Suspend, and in this lower section, you want based on physical USB port and single device only. You need to make sure that these are checked, but do not click OK. You need to go back to General and then hit Save Configuration because if you would have hit OK, it would have took you out of the program. Hit Save Configuration. The screen saves as. Let the defaults here go. Do not change anything, just hit Save. It says, would you like to overwrite? You say yes, and then you say OK. Now we're done with the setup, and you say OK again, and the screens close. The setup and configuration is now complete. You're now ready to connect to the aircraft and perform a download.
After you have successfully installed EEI for Forge and configured the DigiEdge port, launch EEI for Forge by double-clicking the desktop icon. If the edge port is correctly connected and configured, EEI for Forge will automatically detect and display the aircraft's engine and ECU information when the program opens to the default Downloads tab. Users can initiate the ECFR download by selecting the download button near the bottom of the display. Users should then carefully enter their aircraft tail number, acknowledge that the download will clear data from ECUs, and select the download button to start the ECFR download. Please note that unlike the legacy EEI software, this data must be uploaded to Honeywell Forge Engine Data Viewer for TLD determination. For aircraft with Honeywell's TFE 731 engine, the data download procedure is similar to HTF 7000 with the TFE 731 download kit. Connect the download kit cables for ECTM data from selected Honeywell Digital Electronic Engine Control, then click on the EEI for Forge icon on your desktop to launch the EEIFF application. The new EEIFF application will detect the connected Honeywell DEEK and TFE 731 setup based on connected ports. This process may take about 30 seconds based on port availability. Please select from the list of aircraft types, then click OK. Once aircraft type is selected, EEIFF will configure its internal setup for the TFE 731 platform. You will see a landing page with connected Honeywell DEEK information and a download button. Only selected Honeywell DEEK information will be shown, whereas other Honeywell DEEK's information will appear blank unless you are using the latest Honeywell Multiport Download Kit. Click on the Download button to initiate ECTM data file from the connected Honeywell DEEK. Please enter accurate tail number and flight hours information. This information is very critical for the data at a later stage, so that ECTM information can be viewed on Honeywell's Forge Engine Data Viewer. The ECTM file download will take approximately one minute. Once the download completes on one Honeywell DEEK, there will be an EEIFF application request for the user to connect another Honeywell DEEK using Cockpit CMS system. From there, click the manual loopback followed by the refresh button. Following Honeywell DEEK detection, please download the ECTM from the other EEIFF. A download summary dialog box will appear once data from each aircraft Honeywell DEEK is downloaded. You are required to upload the tar.gz file from your local folder to Honeywell Forge. To log into your Honeywell Forge account for the first time, you should wait to receive email confirmation that your aircraft has been registered to your Honeywell Forge account successfully. Once the email confirmation has been received, visit the Honeywell Forge webpage and log in using your My Aerospace credentials. Once successfully logged in, you will be directed to the Honeywell Forge dashboard. To complete the ECFR upload, expand the Connected Engines tab on the left-hand side of the screen and select Dashboard. You will be directed to a widget where you can upload the ECFR file that was downloaded with EEI for Forge. Browse and select the EEI for Forge download to upload the file into Honeywell Forge. To view aircraft engine data, expand the Connected Engines menu on the left-hand side of the screen and select the Engine Data Viewer. Note, the upload will take 5 to 10 minutes to process into Honeywell Forge due to the data integrity validation that the file goes through before it is displayed in the Engine Data Viewer. If your account has approved data access to an associated tail, you should see the aircraft information listed in the Engine Data Viewer. Selecting the listed aircraft will bring up a prompt to perform a periodic inspection as may be required by your engine's light maintenance manual. If performing a periodic inspection, select Yes. If not, select No.
Once on the TLD Details page, you can select Search Historic Data to view previous files that have been uploaded to Honeywell Forge. To view the latest ECFR upload, select View This Upload, which will display the Summary tab for the latest file along with some upload information. The drop-down menu at the top of the screen should be used to select which engine ECU that you would like to review data for. Once you log in, you'll be directed to the Honeywell Forge dashboard. To complete the ECFR or ECTM file upload, click and expand the Connected Engines tab on the left side of the screen and click on Dashboard. You will be redirected to the widget where ECFR or ECTM files can be uploaded. Browse and select EEI for Forge. Download and upload the file into the Honeywell Forge. After uploading the file, you'll be redirected to the File Status tab. Please note, the upload can take 5 to 10 minutes into the Honeywell Forge due to the data integrity validation process that occurs before it displays in the Engine Data Viewer. Once the status is complete, you can view the file's contents. View the file's contents by clicking the View button or go to the Engine Data Viewer tab and click on the specific aircraft data you wish to view. Selecting a listed aircraft will display the Summary tab with additional upload information. The Summary tab contains the summarized information of faults, exceedance, and events, along with some uploaded file-level information. The Statistics tab will display engine-level information, including with engine description and data. The Performance tab will help us to view the engine takeoff and cruise information for the specific engine. You can also select different series parameters to plot the required data. Additionally, you can plot a specific point to view the corresponding data on the right panel. The same task can also be performed on the cruise data. The Roll Down tab here will show the roll down time along with N1 and N2 times, and the graph view will help to analyze the data at each point. The Life Cycle tab helps us to view the life cycle parameters like landing, touch and go, APR events, etc. The engine start time, along with the manual mode and auto ignition time, can be viewed at the Start tab. The Fault tab would list all the faults that occurred during the flight, along with severity and description. All even level information can be viewed and analyzed in the Event tab. The Exceedance tab would list the N1, N2, and ITT exceedances that occurred during the flight. You can also check or uncheck boxes to view specific exceedance data. Finally, you can click on the Chronology tab to view all the specified data where engines start to roll down are sorted chronologically.